the ultimate hydrogen water. And I wouldn't even call it just hydrogen water. I mean, this is, this is what I would personally call therapeutic grade hydrogen water. It's, there's really a big difference, guys. There's a lot of different ways to make hydrogen water, and not all of them are very effective. In fact, I'll share some of that info with you in a second. First, let's start with this. I pretty much just took the top off and filled the water up to here. You can fill it to here at this little line, which means that you would hit the button twice, and that would be a 10-minute mode, and you would have water that is fully saturated with hydrogen. But to make the whole pitcher, you do the 30-minute mode. And that's how easy it is. You just push the button and let it run. And this is basically the way that I make my hydrogen water. Now, I'm really picky, and I'm really specific about the way that I do things, and I do tons of research to make sure to do it right. And ultimately, it led me to this way of making hydrogen water. I mean, I tried to make my own hydrogen machine before, but guys, honestly, that's futile. The, the more I learned about it, you require a very special type of metal technology, which is very, very difficult. In fact, the, metal, the company that makes the metal for this is basically the number one metal company as far as technology. It's a Japanese company, and what they're actually doing now, it's really quite fascinating. They're making some type of metals for devices that are actually gonna be going into outer space very soon here in the near future. So it's very, very high tech as far as the quality of the metal. It's probably one of the largest expenses, but it's very, very important when making hydrogen water because otherwise there's other ways to make hydrogen water. Like there's little devices like this. I highly do not recommend these just because of the, I mean, you're doing something for your health. That's why we're learning how to make hydrogen water. These type of things are gonna be worse for your health in the long term than anything. So the, let me show you, I mean, the metal quality that these have is incredibly poor, these are Chinese, and when you directly electrolyze the water, which is what these do, it actually degrades the metal, basically it gets in the water, and guys, you're, you're gonna be getting what I would call metal contamination. In fact, there were some studies done with directly electrolyzed water, and they would test people's blood at before and then after using it for months, and they found elevated levels of metals in their blood. It just defeats the whole purpose. It's just kind of silly. So yeah, I don't, I don't recommend this way of making hydrogen water at all. I haven't seen any good portable devices at this time, but if I ever do find something, I will let you guys know because everybody's always asking, and unfortunately, there just isn't any good ones out there that are, in my opinion, safe because you'd never want to give this type of water to a baby, to a pregnant woman, to an elderly person who's sick, just anybody in, in my book. You don't, you don't want that kind. Um, the other way to make hydrogen water is with hydrogen pills. This is probably also one of the worst ways to do it. One, because it's actually the most expensive that I've seen in the long term. Uh, two, because, I mean, it leaves like this residue of stuff in the water after you make the hydrogen. It also not only creates a chemical reaction, but the ingredients in these guys, not only can, I, I've read this in Japan where it can lead to, let's see here, cirrhosis of the liver, uh, Alzheimer's, and infertility in women. And But to me, that's not even necessarily the worst of it. I mean, those are all very bad things. But one of the worst things, and, and the fact that it's expensive, but one of the worst things about using something like this, obviously, it is the way that it affects the colon. A lot of these ingredients are actually in laxatives. And so what they end up doing is it ends up causing issues with your colon in the long term. So again, this is really the very, very bad way to make hydrogen water. And then to make matters worse, uh, throughout my years of experience, I've known people who tried the pills for diabetes. And interestingly enough, it gave almost no results, like maybe a 5% change, almost unmeasurable. And then when I would give the same person who has diabetes hydrogen water from the way that I make it, the results were dramatic. So I think ultimately what I learned about these type of pills is that they don't put out as much hydrogen as you may think. So again, these are probably one of the worst ways to make hydrogen water. So ultimately guys, this is how you make it. Uh, one of the other interesting things that a lot of people don't know is this is gonna be making it pH neutral. That's what you want. It makes it in a very, very safe manner, which is also what you want. That way you can give this water to, again, it's safe to give to like a baby, a pregnant woman, an elderly person who's ill. This is the proper way to make hydrogen water. Hence the reason that they probably use this, when they use this device, they use it in like medical clinics in Japan. And I think that's why they do it because of the way that it makes the hydrogen water is very safe. All the machines, of course, are certified and tested, and so they know that they're making the proper levels of hydrogen. And for a lot of people who don't know, it's rather interesting, the more research I did, I discovered that the people involved in making this device so that you can do it yourself and make your own hydrogen water, these people were actually 
okay, so there's a whole group. There was a lot of different engineers from the top engineers from Japan, like people who worked at Toyota, people who worked for G-Shock, and the metal company uh, that developed this. Also, again, them making metals for uh, different devices that are going to be going out of space. It's literally the number one metal technology in the world that ended up making the metal for this device. So not only did all those people get involved with this project, but they also had the top scientists involved. And that was really interesting because Japan has had the top scientists in hydrogen for a long time, and they were actually given their input when they made such a device. So they really kind of went above and beyond, and that way people can just make their own hydrogen water. This particular device is not hooked up to your plumbing, which is another really neat thing, because you can literally, well here, I'll just show you. You can literally take the top off and just put whatever kind of water you want in there. You can put distilled water, you can put mineralized distilled water, you can put just filtered water, you can put reverse osmosis water. This thing takes pretty much any type of water except for maybe seawater, which I would not recommend putting seawater in it anyway because I don't know anybody who would want to drink that. But you, it's designed so you can put any kind of water that you want to put in there. One of the other interesting things about making the hydrogen water in this way, obviously it's safe, but the other interesting thing is how long the hydrogen stays in the water. It's definitely making the proper levels, which again is another important factor. But the other thing that, that it does is it keeps the hydrogen in there for long periods of time. So a lot of people will tell me like, hey, I don't have 30 minutes, I can't wait 30 minutes for my water. So this is what I do and what I recommend for people. This hydrogen pouch, a special hydrogen bag, this is kind of interesting. This was designed by actually a Japanese engineer who used to work for NASA. They're pretty much one of a kind. There's only one company in the world that makes these and it's a Japanese company, so that's interesting. But if you put hydrogen water from this specific device in this pouch and you put it sideways like this in the refrigerator, it will hold over 90% of the hydrogen for one to two weeks, guys. That's insane. So basically, you just can have the water sitting in the fridge anytime you want, take it to work, so that's one, of, that's one of the ways that I've gotten around having to wait the 30 minutes. But if you do wait the 30 minutes, it'll go into standby so the water will just be sitting there trickling hydrogen into there and will just sit there and be ready for you anytime. So this is the way that I make my hydrogen water. Everybody's been asking, you know, how do you make your hydrogen water or how do you recommend to do it? I thought I made videos about it before, but apparently people can find them. So this is just kind of a remake on how to make hydrogen water and I would call it again how to make therapeutic hydrogen water how to make it in a very safe manner and basically so that it's effective that's kind of the most important thing and again just super easy and that's about it guys so hope you guys found the video helpful if you did as usual give the video a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification button because I do plan on bringing more videos your guys' way and that's it guys thanks for watching I'll see you guys next time on the next one